Hey guys, it is Miss Simrino. If you are returning to the channel, welcome back. And if you're brand new, I am very excited that you decided to join me here today for an apartment renovation. And we are at 1312 21 Chic Street, which is Penny Pizzazz's apartment. And I was recently inspired by my dear sweet friend, Rachel Ped, who renovated an apartment here. She was inspired by another simmer for a particular floor plan. And anyway, that's why we're here because um, I love Rachel and yeah, I just wanted to be like her and make an apartment. So here we are. <laughs> Um, no, but in all seriousness, I was really excited because I haven't done an apartment in a while and I thought it would be fun to do a country themed apartment using more rustic items that we already have in the game. A lot of stuff from Cottage Living and Strangerville. And I'm just really amped because the new expansion pack at the time of me recording this, it is the day before it is released. But I believe if you are not a channel member and you're seeing this for the first time, it is the day of the pack release. So happy Horse Ranch Expansion Day, yay! <laughs> anyway, I'm really excited for the pack. Um, I've explained this before, I'm not necessarily excited for the horses. <laughs> Doesn't mean I'm not excited, but I'm most excited about nectar making because if you played The Sims 3, I believe it was World Adventures was the expansion. I almost said Jungle Adventure because I'm thinking of The Sims 4. But yeah, if you played World Adventures, and you went to, I think it was Champ de la Sims or something. It was like the French version of the Sims world or whatever, like it was France supposed to be. You could learn the nectar making skill and you could make your own nectar. And they finally, I thought they were gonna bring this back with Eco Lifestyle when I saw the juicing machine, like the fizzing machine. And I was really disappointed when it wasn't nectar making, but they have finally brought nectar making back and I am inexplic inexplicably excited about it. And I don't know why. It was one of my favorite things to do in The Sims 3 was to have my Sims travel there. I don't remember what the criteria was. I think you had to, well, you could get the nectar making skill, but I always wanted my Sims to own a vacation home because you could do that in The Sims 3, by the way. It was amazing. Anyway, I would get them to the point where they were able to buy a vacation home and then I would essentially make them vacation there 24 seven. I was like, you're gonna live here. You're gonna make your little nectars and you're gonna sell them and you're gonna live out in the countryside. Always love the vibe, still love the vibe. Really, really like it. So I'm excited for nectar making in <laughs> the Horse Ranch expansion, but I'm also very excited for the horses as well. They look really good. Now, here's the thing. I have only watched the trailer and that's it. So like the, the teaser trailer and the gameplay trailer, only things that I've watched, I did not watch the live stream. And since I believe at the time of me recording this, there, I was hearing through the grapevine that Embargo was going to lift on early access content today, if it hasn't already. <laughs> and, or yesterday, I should say, time we recording this today, yesterday for when you see this. But yeah, I think Embargo is lifting soon. And that means there's gonna be early access content and I, I'm not going to watch any of it. Now, I did this on purpose because I have an LP coming. If you have not seen the teasers over on Twitter, maybe check it out because I've been teasing the characters and I even released the name of the LP. I am really excited. It's called Wrangler and it follows a single dad with his two kiddos. And that's about as much as I'll say at this time. Oh, well he does, he runs like a horse rescue, which I think is just so nice. I love it so much. So basically like a horse sanctuary. It's not a really big one, um, but he does have like a ranch hand and stuff too, to kind of help out. His daughter wants nothing to do with anything ranch related. R like wouldn't be caught dead in a cowgirl hat or cowgirl boots. Mm -mm, it's not her thing. She likes wearing her beanies and like her long sleeve t-shirts. She loves Star Wars, like just has no interest in what her dad does at all. She loves her dad dearly, but zero interest. And then she has a little brother and he is just an infant. So, um, you know, dad can dress him up in little cowboy things and he can't yet protest. And we don't really know what he's interested in, but he has a really hearty appetite. That's about all we do know. <laughs> And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I've really talked about. I don't want to give away too, too much. And I will be starting that LP ASAP. The second I can get everything set up, I have to build their house. I have to make sure everything is situated in the world for them. I want to learn a little bit more about the horse mechanics and stuff before I just dive in. But at the same time, the whole point in me not watching early access content is because I want to go in completely unaware. I want to learn about the pack as I go. I want things to be a surprise. And I talked about this. I don't know if this is controversial or not, but I'm actually really enjoying the fact that the early access content wasn't released like a week in advance of the pack. I said this over on Twitter. We could all have different opinions on this. This is just how I feel. But 
when the early access content is released like a week or two prior, I think for like growing together, it was maybe a week. I can't really recall specific, so don't come for me. But when it's released so early, I don't know, you learn so much about the pack and the mechanics and you hear the pros and the cons and everything. And even though that can be great for maybe deciding if you wanted to get a pack, I personally, from where I'm sitting, I'm always going to get a pack except for Journey to Batu. I waited till that was on sale. But anyway, um, yeah, I don't, I don't want the hype to die down for myself. It's literally just for me. Like I'm not talking about anybody else, <laughs> but I don't want the hype to die down for myself. So I'm not indulging in early access content. I've really liked that things haven't been saturated with early access content too far in advance of the pack's release. And all in all, I'm just really excited. I have quite literally blabbed through this entire apartment because it is not even eight minutes long. <laughs> I am so sorry. But anyway, I'm really excited for this pack. I can't wait to start prepping for my LP. Um, all of you who liked Platonic, your comments on the final episode, by the way, li I literally cried. You're all very nice. And I'm so glad you liked it as much as I did because <laughs> that's why I made it. Uh, I'm just like, I am just in a glass case of emotion right now. That's what I am. We are decorating the bedroom and that's pretty much it for this apartment renovation, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I can't wait to hear your thoughts. I cannot wait to start getting content out with the new pack, but it might take a little bit of time because I kind of want to just enjoy it, move through it slowly and... I don't know. I hope you guys enjoy the pack as much as I am anticipating enjoying it. But I will catch you next time I post a video, and I will talk to you soon. Bye!